All right, so I went to the same drawing school as Alex Lloyd. I was teaching with him once in Nashville. And so this is his drawing of a person and my drawing of a person. Thank you very much. You know that's a person, right? You can tell. Good. So here's a person now, <clears throat> without getting too involved in fields, because we're going to get a lot of experience in fields, and I'm going to show you The Living Matrix, which is an amazing movie, uh, a piece of it, about fields and heart fields and how biofields and that kind of thing. So just for now, matrix is not, is everything around us and inside us. It's, ever, it's just the fields, morphic fields, biofields, you know, where, where radio waves bounce around, you know, where anything you want, it's just everything that's not, we, we don't touch, all right, as a field. <clears throat> According to Bruce Lipton <clears throat> and a few other people, our memory, the memory is not necessarily stored in our brain, it's stored in our field and we refer to it. You don't have to believe that. If you want to believe it's in our brain, that's fine. But what happens also, Dr. Bob Scare, when there is a traumatic event, and I'll go into what a traumatic event constitutes later. When a traumatic event happens, we freeze, freeze response. And everything that's happening in that particular time is sort of downloaded into this memory that he calls a trauma capsule. So if we're three years old and we've made this beautiful mud pie and we walk into mommy with this beautiful mud pie because we want to show her our great cake and to get to the kitchen, we have to go over her beautiful new white rug. So we take our beautiful mud pie over the right rug, and what does she do? What are you doing? OK, that's a trauma because a child is helpless. And there's other things that constitute a trauma, but say surprise, not knowing what to do. The kid is, gets traumatized for something like that. Mom, all she wants is to teach the kid not to bring mud in the house. But because we also learn with perception, because we're in the freeze response, what happens is it downloads a, what's called a trauma capsule. And in that trauma capsule, it's sort of a frozen little three-year-old with the kitchen there and the, what they're wearing there. And you know, if there's a man with a red beard on the wall, you, know, you might be afraid of men with red beards. It, it could do anything. So in, in t because it's a trauma, she might not y remember it. Don't, you, uh, bring mud in the house, what she'll learn is it's unsafe to show happiness. That's her perception, right? I mean, we go to the same movie and we see two different movies, right? So you remember one movie and I remember another. Is it a different movie? No, it's our perception of the movie. The movie hasn't changed. So it's downloaded, all this stuff. She gets this little learning, which Ann Adams called cubby holes, which I like. I used to call them file folders. But she calls them cubby holes. So you build something that says, it is unsafe to show happiness. I have learned that. That is my negative learning. So what happens when you're <clears throat> oh, five years old is you have a new dolly, and you go running into the playground to show somebody in the playground. And they go, your dolly's stupid. OK? Another trauma. Now, since you already have this cubby hole or file folder, what do you say? Darn it, it's unsafe to show happiness. I learned that back here, even if it's not conscious, OK? We have now developed an issue string <clears throat> or a trauma string, all right? Then you're six years old, you get a star on your paper, your little art paper or something, and you go running into daddy, and you forget, because you're so happy about the star on your paper, you're just thrilled with the star on your paper, that you forget when daddy's door is closed to a study you're not supposed to walk in. So you run in with your paper and the star, and what happens? Daddy yells at you. What does that do? Creates another trauma. You can answer me. I'll listen if you guys, one of you guys answer. You know, I also do positive reinforcement, and I'll tell you what that is later. Some of the others know already. <laughs> They'll answer first. You watch next time. <laughs> so it creates another one, and then what happens here? What does this little girl believe? Does she believe that Daddy just, you know, I forgot to open the door? What does she believe? Who said, there we go, she got it. Unsafe to show happiness. Yeah, positive reinforcement works, doesn't it? All right, so now we have developed something. And you say, and this continues to happen. OK, 
okay? It continues to happen through your whole life and to the point where you forgot it was this and you develop things like, uh, why is everybody else happy at parties and I'm not? You know, how can you relate that to that? But that's what happens because we're people and we're human and as we grow older we forget that it was a, a friggin' mud pie for Pete's sake. You know, you're not going to think that the reason you're unsafe and that you don't get along with people at parties or that you're afraid of crowds or that why is everybody happier than you are. You think something's wrong with you. You're not going to blame a mud pie. That's one of the hardest things about both EFT and matrix extreme printing is finding where the course you started. Where did the negative learning start? But luckily in matrix re-imprinting, we have a way to easily get to that. So what we do in matrix re-imprinting is we go into one of these trauma capsules. And this is where it's like inner child work. By the way, you're going to see a lot of things in matrix re-imprinting that you recognize. Inner child work, family constellations. It's just the way we do it and what's important, that, that why this works so well and so fast. All right? So EFT, this is EFT. Here's the three-year-old, here's you. Understand? Even though I was really upset when my mommy yelled at me, I deeply and completely love myself. My mommy got mad at me. She, you know, made, it made me learn it's unsafe to host show happiness. I was just bringing mud in the, you know, I was just showing her my beautiful pie. You know, whatever it is, you know, you're tapping on yourself, I, right? Matrix re-imprinting. We're going to where the little girl is in her house where she made the mud pie. And we, the now self, walks in to the trauma capsule, into the room, okay? into where she is and taps on her, okay? So you are the practitioner for your younger self. Do you understand? So this is, and I'll show you how to do it, matrix re-imprinting, this is EFT. Long time EFTers have a, this is the hardest thing is to stay separate. And also we change the wording to, even though you are sad, you're still a good little girl because it helps us keep, what, dissociated. Because here is associated, right? Here is dissociated, right? Understand? The hardest thing to do with long-time EFT doers is get them the heck out of their own little kid, all right? So that's gonna be your biggest challenge for those of you who do this, who've done this for a long time, is to stay separate. And we're gonna have tricks and things to help you stay dissociated, all right? Yes, I hear you all cry. Yes. Good, yes. thank you. All right, so we go in and we tap on the little self, help them through it, give them all kinds of resources, make them all happy, let them go through it in the good way. And when you go through it in the good way, you learn new things and you let go of the bad things. So this means that we get a new learning from it and it's like a domino effect. All these things. If we can get to this three-year-old, we can get them all down, all of them. And I had a phobia, somebody with a phobia last time in Atlanta. And he was like, this is, you get a lot for your money in this thing. <laughs> he, he's like, this is just incredible. I can't believe it. I just can't believe I'm not afraid of spiders anymore. This is, this is, I'm really not. What did you do? You know, the next word is usually you, or there's something wrong. You got voodoo, magic wand, something, because that's how fast it is.